listen, everybody, um, thank you for joining me. We're going to spend the next little bit talking about the Brivity platform, um, leads, how you close these things, why Brivity is just a little bit different, I think, our, our leads product is than most of the internet leads that you're going to find kind of out in the marketplace. So thanks, you guys, for joining me. My name is Bob Stewart. Do me a favor. Um, make me feel like I'm not here talking to myself. Uh, you know, it's, it's been a year and a half now in Washington State here. We've been in this kind of COVID scenario where I haven't seen many people. So just, I know you guys are on the other side. Melissa, thank you so much. Said I can't see anything. There's nothing to see just yet, Melissa. I'm going to share my screen here in just a second with you. You should be able to see me, I think. I don't know. Um, so let me get my screen shared with you. And now tell me, <laughs> now tell me, Melissa, if you see something, you should see my screen that says better leads in the platform to close them. Awesome. Thank you, Kevin. All right. So Melissa and uh, Anna, thank you so much. Hi, Brian. Uh, all right. Now, now you guys are making me feel like you're actually out there. I can see your, your words coming in, Nick, loud and clear. Thank you. All right. Let, let's dive in here. We're going to talk about the Brivity platform. We're going to talk about what we call Brivity Connect. And so let's just, let's take off. You guys have any questions, Nick or, or Brian or Anna? Fire them in here. I'm always paying attention to the chat over there. So. We're here to talk about Brivity and we built Brivity. We started building Brivity about nine years ago to manage transactions in Ben Kinney's business. And, and all these years later, Ben has built a pretty big real estate empire that includes sales teams where he partners with sales teams in about 65 locations around the country. And they had the largest team in the United States last year, um, did 5,000 transactions. Plus, um, we have a really big business but we feed our business in, in no matter which markets it's in using kind of this model right here, our lead generation model. So the things on the left-hand side of this model, working our sphere and our past clients, uh, going out and doing open houses. We, our teams do two every week. Our agents on our teams do two every week. And then prospecting, like getting on the phone and just really dialing for dollars. That's the agent's job in our business. And if agents in our world do their job, work their sphere, do their open houses, get out and, and, and hit the phones and prospect, they get led into our world, which are kind of the stuff on the right-hand sides are the spoils of being in the business, right? You can't go out and just buy internet leads until you've got some, until you've manufactured business on your own, or you shouldn't be doing that anyway. Because if you can't follow up with your sphere a couple of times a month, uh, or a couple times a year, you're, you're not going to call your internet leads as much as they need to get closed, right? If you can't call the people that know you, why are you going to call the people that don't know you? Listing leads, you get those because you end up getting listings. And that's a function of having been in the industry for a little bit. Every team's got these other things. Sometimes it's you get a bunch of referrals because you have a big name recognition in your area, radio and television, um, something, something like that, right? Everybody's got this kind of other thing. So we built Brivity basically to support this business model. And I guess when you throw something like other on there, you guys would kind of cover everything. But we've built tools to help you get in front of the right traffic, create content and messaging. And we give you guys a ton of this. We've got teams that build this stuff, right? But give you guys the right content and messaging so we can capture that traffic somehow might be of the buyer website, might be a text capture, might be a postcard that we've sent out and that buyer gets our message you know, on the other side of their mailbox and, and takes action on our call to action on that postcard. No matter how we capture them, right? We're gonna funnel them into our CRM or we're gonna nurture them. Buyers get nurtured a certain way, sellers get nurtured a certain way, right? Selling prospects anyway. To the point where we've got a transaction which we need to manage and then at the end of the day, like that little green box on the right-hand side of this image, that's where we all, that's why we get up each morning and kind of come in to, to work to do the job, right? So we get a paycheck that we can invest back into the business. And then there's a buy, the other byproduct are the past clients that we have to stay in touch with. So hopefully they'll do business with us again in the future. All of these things, all of the aspects of what you're doing every day, day in and day out can be 
managed by brevity. We're going to be focusing specifically today on the traffic and the nurturing components. Angela, feel free to type your question in if you have one. So let's 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 dive in a little bit to 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 some of the aspects of this map right here. We're going to start with these the buyer and seller website concepts that you see under the capture tools there. So Brivity is what I like to call 99% customizable website. You can customize everything on your Brivity site, except for the lead gen levers, except for the, the properties and the way properties are displayed and the property results pages and the way those are displayed. We keep control of that because we've been doing this for 20 years. Uh, we're really good at, at lead conversion. We know where to put the buttons and, and what the buttons should say. And we've A-B tested the, the, the heck out of this thing. And, and we're good at that. Everything else, you have a control over what it looks like. Now, out of the gates, we're going to give you guys a, a beautiful website that doesn't look like anybody else's website anywhere on the planet. It's going to have your colors, your themes, you know, your wording. Right? It's, it's unique, just like your brand is unique. Now, with the minimal, like very minimal, I, I don't have any, I'm not a computer programmer, so I, I don't have any computer programming skills. With very minimal kind of technical savvy even, you can edit the website. It's got this drag and drop interface in the back where you can drag in different blocks, pre-made blocks. You can easily upload photos, change the, the wording. Now, if, if you had a little bit of skill, you knew CSS and HTML, you could make your website look like anything you wanted. So most of you probably have a high school kid that could do that, right? But like, you could look like Zillow today, Redfin tomorrow, and, and Realtor.com the next day, if you wanted it to. Here's an example of one. This is a, one of Ben's business partners down in Prescott, Arizona. That is not him on the horse, but it might as well be. Like this represents his area and his brand so well. Um, Travis Bard, if you've ever met this guy, he's got a cowboy hat on half the time. He still does rodeo. The dude's like, he's older than I am and he's out there ro doing rodeo. Like he's a cowboy, you guys. And e even down to the script on his website that we used here, right? Find your place in Prescott, that kind of old, looks like it should have been written with a quill pen. Like this, just landing on his homepage, you absolutely get a feel immediately for what tra who Travis is and what what it's about living in Prescott, Arizona, right? Uh, this is an example of, and watch this. So the instant offer concept. So a guy came to us and said, hey, this was a couple of years ago. He said, you know, purple door and, and red bricks and all these, whoever they are, right? open door, purple bricks, uh, Zillow offers. Right? They're all coming into my market. I need to have something on my website that promotes the fact that if you work with me, we can do these instant offers just like Zillow's doing. So he had teamed with some, you know, some company that, that would allow him to do instant offers. So we built that concept into his website. Very simply, right? It's got the stress-free way of selling your house and a video about it. And, you know, some, some examples of sellers who did it that way. And, you know, the checklist of the differences between a traditional sale and an instant offer. And we just brought this concept to life on his website because we can literally bring any concept to life on your website. It's not a template where you're stuck with it looking exactly like, you know, the, the hundred other agents in your office or even the, you know, the 3000 other agents that use Rivity. Your site's totally unique. I come across sites almost every day where I'm like, is this ours? And I got to go to the bottom and check to see like, yeah, they, they, they are super unique. Another example of a, a site in Olympia, Washington. If anybody's from the Washington State area, kind of the, the highlight or hero image they have right at the beginning of this little gif that's playing here is of the Olympia Brewery, a totally iconic shot of, well, I think it's this next one, a totally iconic shot of Olympia. There it is. And anybody that landed on that website that was perusing that site would immediately connect with the fact that that was Olympia. Now, I'm just going to transition right now, and we'll come back near the end and talk about a bunch of the other tools that, that Brivity offers. I want to get into this Brivity Connect, which is, you know, the, 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 I guess the marketing angle we've, we've spun it as the revolutionary real estate digital ad program. 
but guys, I've been, I've been doing internet advertising in real estate since 2001. So for 20 years now, and this is, it's just the next generation. It really is. Um, it's everything the internet promised us we'd be able to do as marketers kind of wrapped up in a, in a nice bow for, for real estate. Um, so, so let's dive into what Brivity Connect. Here's why we built it, okay? Because we've been doing internet marketing for 20 years in the real estate space, we've generated a lot of leads in our life. And there are problems with the way that we generate leads. And a lot of it has to do with the sales cycle of the, the people that are interested in our product, right? We're, we don't sell shoes here, you guys. Like we don't go look at, people don't go look at, think, you know, I want to buy a house. Like I want to buy a pair of shoes. If I think I want to go buy a pair of shoes, I'm on Nordstrom tonight looking at shoes, right? And then tomorrow Nordstrom's serving me up shoes everywhere I go around the internet. And I probably make that shoe decision in the next week, right? What pair of shoes am I going to buy? But when people start to think, I want to, maybe we should think about buying a house, honey. Maybe we should think about selling this house. They're not going to do that for on average, like 12 months. Some of them are going to do it in, in three, six or nine months. Some of them are going to do it in 15, 18 or 24 months. So when they set out, when they start their journey, we talk about the, the consumer's journey, right? In the very, very beginning, when they're not going to buy for, let's say, a year, a lot of times they don't even know what they did to find our website or how we got their info. Like they, they, they started on Google and they clicked on something and, you know, they've got all these that you can sign, easily sign in with Facebook and Google now. And you get people signing in and doing stuff and they're like, all right, and then you call them and they're like, I don't remember giving my phone number anywhere. Well, Facebook had their phone number. When they logged in with Facebook, it, it gave you their phone number. So you get these consumers that right away are like, wait a minute, who are you? They don't remember, you know, where they visited or how you got their info. Then when you call them, because they're immediately kind of on the defensive, they don't know why you're contacting them, right? They don't know who you are. Sure, they were on your website. Maybe they saw your logo, but it was once. They were on six other sites and yours didn't stand out at all, right? Like they don't know who you are. Again, on the defensive, it's a, it's a year away. They're not even sure how you got their info. They don't know who you are, why you're calling them, right? And, and more than anything, they don't care. Right now, they don't care as much as you care, right? You call them, you got the lead. You're like, hey, you want to buy a house? Let's, let's go do this. And they're like, wait, who are you? Where, like, where'd you get my info? Uh, I don't even want to be talking to you right now because I'm not ready. Right, I'm 12 months away, you guys. I just started thinking about it. I just started thinking about it. This creates problems for you as the agent as well, right? We don't know what their, what their intent is a lot of times. We get a real estate lead from Z Buyer or Homelight or something, and we don't know if they're wanting to buy. Do they have a house to sell before they go buy this next one? Uh, maybe maybe they're, they're perfectly happy with the house they live in, and they, they saw a friend talking about, you know, investing and how they bought their first Airbnb. And that's what they're up to. Like, we just don't know. Right. We don't, a lot of times we don't know anything about like what they want. Maybe let's say it's a Zillow lead. Maybe we have one property they looked at. Right. So we start to kind of gauge everything around that property and then come to find out later, they can't afford a million dollars. They just, that's just the first property they clicked on on Zillow. They can actually afford 200,000. Like we don't know, right? We end up making cold calls. Like even sometimes when they've been on your website, I've called a lot of leads in my time. And, you know, we would call and say, hey, this is Bob Stewart with Real Realty. You were just on our website this morning. And they'll be like, uh, who, what? Like they don't know, they don't care. They didn't even know what site they were on, which makes my call a cold call. Like, even though they've been a lead on my website today or yesterday or God forbid a week ago, they definitely have forgotten where they were a week ago on the internet with all the hundreds of, of things they've clicked on since then. They don't come back to our website enough. They don't know where it is. 
They don't even know what site they were on to begin with. I can guarantee you could take half of the internet audience today, spin them around in their chair as they're sitting there, you know, on their computer and be like, what website are you on right now? And they'd be like, uh, well, I, I was on Facebook, but then I, I clicked on something else and, you know, I don't even know the URL, right? Half the people would be like, what's a URL? They, they, they don't come back often enough, right? And then we don't convert enough of our old leads. Guys, the conversion rates in our industry are pathetic. They're like one to 2%, right? You get a hundred leads and you turn one of them into a deal or maybe two. And then, and then we, we call this the loyalty gap. The, the percentage of our clients that come back and do business with us is dismal. It's, it's around, it hovers around 20%. Even though 90% of your buyer clients say once they, when they buy the house with you, it, man, Nick Hale did an awesome job for me as my agent. I would totally work with that guy again. 90% of them say something like that. 20% of them actually work with us again. So our sphere, our past clients, all these leads that we've generated in the past, they don't do business with us. Not as many as should, not as many as we have in the database. So we, we, we set out to like, target specific individuals who are ready to buy, sell, or invest. Instead of just showing them properties on your website, we follow them around the internet, you guys. Like after they leave your site, we're gonna, we're gonna be out there with your site, putting it back in front of them no matter where they go, right? What if no matter where they were online, we were, we were giving them offers of the value that your business can, can provide to them? What if just everybody in the database? all our sphere, all of our old leads, all of our past clients, what if they were constantly being re-engaged? Like while you were having dinner with your honey bunny, Nick, or, or taking a nap. I like to take a midday nap every once in a while, Brian Mason, right? What if while I was doing that, my, advertising, my internet advertising, my marketing campaigns were just out there being seen? What if, what if sellers started to think to themselves, man, this Nick Hale guy, like he must spend a million dollars on advertising. This guy's on the friggin' Wall Street Journal. Like how, how can he afford to be on the Wall Street Journal? He must be one of the best agents in town. So that's what we built. We call it Brevity Connect. And here's, here's, here's some of what some of the people have been saying about it. Phil kind of took off. Like right out of the gates, he had 148 leads like in the first 20 days. Nine hot, 15 nurtures, 14 watches, blah, 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 right? He's got five buyer's agency agreements signed. And his cost per lead was over 50% less than the last place he was using. <coughs> Sink. I don't know. That's what Phil had to say. Here's what Jacqueline had to say. 10X ROI, an accepted contract after four days. I made a comment the other day on a guy named Randy Sumble's we have a masterminds group where our, our, and Randy had come in there and was like high fiving his himself, I guess. And he's like, Hey, we got another one under contract. Another brevity connect lead under contract in four days, three days, something like that. And I went and left a comment. I said, Randy, that's awesome, man. High five, by the way, not the norm, right? This is like cool when it happens, but this is not the norm. And Randy came back and was like, hey, you know what, Bob, uh, this is actually becoming more, normal than it used to be for us anyway and again not the norm to have a contract written four days after you get a lead right but we're getting way better at, at targeting the right people at the right time um ken said they just started but the reason i grabbed his his kind of testimonial here is his buyer's agents are already thanking him for the increase in new leads and, and the best part is they really like to talk to him Lead conversion is as much a mindset as it's anything else. If your agents think what Ken's agents think here, they're going to make more phone calls. They're going to they're going to make more activity. They're going to they're going to pick it up, and they're going to they're going to set out with a mindset that they need to actually convert these leads. And and Jeff, they're well on their way in in, in 2021 here to to their goal. Um, He's one of our biggest, biggest customers. He's got a big ad spend in Vegas. And we'll talk a little bit about some of what we've done with, with his campaigns here. This, that, this bottom line, 
represents uh, each little kind of tick mark on there, right? Is is the lead getting some kind of contact attempt or communication from us? So the bottom is what most leads get. This is what this is what most leads get. They they maybe get a phone call like right when the lead came into us, right? Maybe we've got some drip system that sends them a couple emails or texts. Maybe. Maybe you don't even have a text drip system. Maybe you're just trying to convert leads with email today, right? And, and phone calls. The top kind of represents what a brevity lead experiences when confronted with a, you know, a fully powered brevity user, right? It's listing alerts, it's, it's calls. And, and when we're more efficient with our calls because we have a dialer, it's auto emails and auto text messages. It's, it's market reports. And then it's this extra layer, that bottom layer, the dynamic property retargeting and display ad retargeting. This is Brivity Connect. So the, the, the culmination, and we'll see this come to life here in a minute, of, of what a Brivity lead experiences over the lifetime of their journey. And remember, their journey could be, could be fast, like Jacqueline's person, four days, or their journey could be two years. And so how do we, how do we smooth out this approach that we take with a lead over nine months, 12 months, 15 months, two years? Well, lead quality matters. You guys know this, right? Like we can get a, you know, we can get a home line lead. It's like we have a name, email, and phone number. Sometimes we don't even know what property they were looking at, right? Sometimes our Zillow leads come in like that. We don't, we're not even sure which property they were looking at. We have a name, email, and a phone number. Sometimes we don't have a phone number, right? And then sometimes we get this kind of next level leads where we have one property they looked at. Most of our Zillow leads are going to be like that, right? Realtor.com leads are like that. Most of the website leads most of us get are like that. Like this one property. We want to get you name, email, phone number. We want to get you their time frame. Do they have a house to sell as well? Are they pre pre qualified for a mortgage? Right. These are I'm, I'm throwing out some of these intent based questions that we can help you guys get answers for. We want to see properties viewed with a plural. We don't want to see one property. We want to see two, three, five. Right. We want to get a better sense for what they're looking for. Right. Not just that first one they clicked on. We want to see them coming back to the website over time, right? We want leads like this. When we have leads like this, we can have smarter conversations with them and we can be better converters. So here's what, what Brivity Connect will get you. In, increased lead volume. It's, it's a high volume of leads. They're not cheap. They're affordable. They're qualified and engaged. There's faster conversion times. Because we help you surface, like you have 100 leads and you're like, well, which one should I call today? I can call 10 of these leads. You need to call the best 10 and we can help you surface those best 10 so that you have more motivated people that you're speaking to or trying to speak with, right? This last, this last piece, I want to talk about managed on your behalf by experts. This is a, maybe a little bit of a bold statement um, and, and maybe a little bit provocative but it's intended to be. If you do your own marketing campaigns as a real estate agent, you're a FISBO. Like, I want you to think about that for a second, okay? You are, a, like, what is a FISBO doing? They're competing with professionals who do that job all day, every day. They're just a, a average person off the street who says, I can market my home as effectively as a real estate agent can. So when you manage your own marketing as a real estate agent, you are, are you not saying, I can do this as effectively as professionals that do this all day long? And not only that, I have to compete against them because the money I want to spend marketing my business into places like Facebook and Google, I got to compete against teams that do this all day long. I got to compete against Zillow's team and Redfin's team and Realtor.com's team and Brivity's team, and Boomtown's team, and Sync's team, and, and I can do it. I'm going to do be an agent, but I'm also going to be a marketing person. Like, that is a FISBO approach. We, we want you to do it with experts. Like, let our experts go out and do this. They'll do it on your behalf. They'll take guidance and cues from you. 
for example, when we went out and set up, set up Jeff Ellert's campaign. So this is the guy in, in Vegas. We started his campaign in the last summer, in, in the summer of 2020, which everybody knows was the height of COVID. So in Las Vegas during that time, basically all the public pools were shut down. So if you lived in a condo, a high rise, right? Even maybe a subdivision that had like a community center, those public pools were closed. So what Jeff was seeing in his market was a lot of people who'd been cooped up for three, five, six months who were like, you know what? It's time to move out to Henderson. It's time to move out a little bit and, and, and get the house with our pool. Like we, we need our pool back. So what we started doing is we started running ads targeted at finding him buyers who were looking in Henderson, which is a, a, you know, a suburb, a bedroom community of Vegas, right? They were looking in Henderson between 500 and a million with a private pool. And what Jeff knows about the people that live in that area that would move to Henderson and buy a house between 500 and a million with a private pool is they likely are moving from somewhere. They likely are selling that condo that have the shared pool, right? They're likely selling that, that high rise, right? They're likely selling that townhome com complex, which means we were getting him buyer leads that were also sellers. And we were targeting a very specific demographic or, or kind of type of buyer in his market. So we'll work with you guys to figure out who do you want to target? So like in Bellingham, Ben Kinney's business today, one of the ads, and we can add, run multiples of these types, but one that they're running is uh, they're looking for buyers that want a Bay View property in Bellingham. And if you wanted a property in Bellingham that has a view of Bellingham Bay, I mean, you're talking like million, a million plus, right? Maybe 800,000 plus. And those people are move up buyers, right? They're going to have to sell a $400,000 property in Bellingham to move up and buy the $800,000 property with the, the view of the bay. So we're able to get you these lower cost leads by, by running these kind of very targeted campaigns using and, and leveraging your knowledge of your own market, right? We would have never been able to, to manufacture this campaign for Jeff without leaning on his expertise, right? But where he has expertise in the market, we have expertise at going out and deploying these campaigns effectively. Now, when somebody says, yeah, hey, man, I'm, I'm kind of interested. Well, let, me, let, me, let me learn more about one of these properties, right? We're going to use Facebook forms. And there's some, some magic right here. And, and so they're, they're going to get hit with like, hey, is this you? And, and they're like, yeah, that's me, right? Facebook's sitting on their name and their email address 100% of the time. And then about 65% of the time, they're, they're, Facebook's also sitting on their phone number. And we'll just, it's all there. And they just hit, yep, that's me. And then this next page we call an interstitial. And what we're doing at this interstitial is we're, after he says, yeah, this is me, we feed up to that interstitial page, this, this very unique URL that allows him to come through and land on our website and be logged in on our website automatically. Now, I, unless you have some serious developer chops, you would not be able to run your own Facebook ads that drove people back. And when they landed on your website, they'd be logged in automatically. It's a bunch of programming that's gone into this, right? What would happen if you ran your own Facebook ads is they, if you use the Facebook form, they'd fill out the information on the Facebook form. You'd pass them over to their website and they wouldn't be logged in. So if they looked at, you know, another property after the, the main one or, or two or three or four more, you wouldn't know that, right? You just maybe see that one property they registered on Facebook to see. What would happen to the consumer then when they landed, especially if you had forced registration, is they'd land there and then they'd bounce around and all of a sudden, boom, they'd be asked to register again, even though they just gave you their information on Facebook. And they'd be like, what? Just gave this dude my email and my phone number three minutes ago. Now he's springing something on his website, trying to get me to register again. No, I'm out of here. That little piece of logging them into the website is a really, really big deal. Right? It allows us to track everything they do from that point forward. And then just the simple fact that we landed them over there on the website, now we can start to track and follow this guy around town.
So we use the, the carousel ad concept, right? We're constantly feeding up to Facebook uh, catalogs of all of the new listings. So as listings go pending here, right? They come out of these ad sets and new listings get fed up into these ad sets every day. And here's something about uh, Facebook, okay? They get paid when their audience clicks on our ad. So it, it behooves them to feed the right person, the right ad at the right time. So Facebook gets paid. Has anybody seen the social dilemma? There's a, a, a Netflix documentary ch chance called the, the social dilemma. And the, in the social dilemma, they talk about like Facebook, is, its literal existence is as this advertising engine designed to get consumers to click on our ads and they're really good at it right you got and we've all got a story of having sat in our house and said something to our spouse or our partner and five minutes later we've got that ad on facebook and you're like man these friggin' guys like they they know way too much about me which we can capitalize on right we can capitalize on that so when we give them that ad of 500 to a million dollar houses in henderson with a private pool who do they put that ad in front of like they don't put that ad in front of the 18 year old kid, right? That, that they know just graduated from high school and hasn't even found a job yet. He's living at mom and dad's house, right? They know all that stuff about that 18 year old kid. They're gonna put it in front of the 45 year old homeowner who makes 200,000 a year can afford that 500 to a million dollar house, right? They know who we are. They know what we can afford. They're gonna put the ad in front of the right person over time so we set up these these events on your website right so when you're an advertiser with us we set up these events and so let's say facebook send us a hundred visitors okay a hundred leads okay but it, but 90 of those leads they did they just looked at the one property with the other 10 when they landed there they looked at two or three more properties. They set up a custom search. Maybe they saved a property. They did one of those things. They looked at more properties. They set up a custom search. They favored a property. What we'll do is we'll take those 10 and we'll go, hey, Facebook, we appreciate that you sent us these 100. Thank you. Is there any chance you could send us more like these 10? And we give back to Facebook what we call a lookalike audience. We say, look, we, we want you to find other people that look like these people right you you send us 100 these 10 whatever characteristics you know about them go use that and you're you're all seeing all knowing algorithm to figure out who are like these folks and get us more of them and over time as these ads continue to run facebook gets even better at putting these ads in front of the right people who are going to click on them why because that's when they get paid okay it's not a mistake chance that when you like literally just conjure up in your head, you know, the Atlanta Braves, like they're serving you up ads to go see a game, right? When these people start thinking real estate, when they start clicking on real estate, even when they start slowing down on their feed on real estate ads, like think about this, you got two people in Facebook, right? One of them, every time something real estate-y comes up in their feed, they just keep on scrolling. They don't even slow down. The other person, every time something real estate-y comes up, they slow down. They look. Maybe they even go through the carousel ads, but they don't click on anything. Who do you think Facebook's going to double down on showing that ad to? Obviously, the guy that slowed down and was kind of looking a little bit, right? He's going to get that ad two or three or four more times in, the next, in his next session. The person who just scrolled right through them, they're gonna be like, this person's not relevant. Don't serve them that ad anymore. Serve them the Nordstrom shoe ad. Once we have the lead, and by the way, these next two aspects, so the first, the first component of Brevity Connects, we help you generate these really affordable, high quality leads based on some target audience in your market we wanna go after. Once we start generating those leads for you, and, for anybody else that's already coming in your database or coming to your website, we can start to retarget them with properties similar to the ones they were looking at. So, that, so let's say they, they come from one of your ads and they look at a property in Bellingham, Washington at $500,000. Next time they're in Facebook, we're going to be serving them up a bunch of properties in Bellingham, Washington, right around $500,000. 
and they're going to continue to get ads similar to the properties they look at. Over time, if they start looking in Ferndale and their price range goes up to 700, sweet. We're going to adjust the ads we show them on the fly and they're going to start seeing stuff over in Ferndale around 700. They go to Instagram, they're going to be there. They go look at the stories, we're going to have ads there. Every day, more and more apps and websites are moving away from Google's ad prop platform to Facebook's ad platform. So some of this retargeting of properties to your leads, to your database, is going to be happening on websites and apps that people use. It's all live. We manage all of it. You don't have to worry about it. You, you give us the, the, the target. We have a budget and we just go to town generating leads and retargeting everybody that comes back to your website looking at properties. They're going to start seeing ads from you, driving them back over and over and over. Then we're going to aggressively market on Google's display network everywhere that they go. There's a couple of other networks as well, a couple of uh, app networks. Well, basically, if they're on CNN, sweet, you'll be there. If they lean left and they're on MSNBC, you'll be there. They lean right on Fox News, you'll be there. They go to the Wall Street Journal, here you are, right? Like Chance, you're in Atlanta, the Atlanta they're on the Atlanta Constitution Journal or whatever your guys' local newspaper is, Chance will be there, right? And we'll work with you guys to figure out what's that marketing message that you want to just brand into people's heads so that they see it so often that the next time Chance calls them, they're gonna say, you know, I don't know why I know you, but I, sh your name sure sounds familiar. Or they're gonna say something like, yeah, yeah, no, I know who you are, you're everywhere I go. Like you must spend a million dollars on advertising Chance. It's like, you're on Forbes when I go there. You're on the Wall Street Journal. I can't even get away from you when I'm trying to just take a break at night and play Candy Crush, dude. You pop up on my Candy Crush. banner ads, highlighting, whatever it is that, that you, you know, that this particular one, it was the idea of buying and selling safely, which was a big deal last year for, for people, right? Request our free selling experience marketing plan, right? They're, they're targeting buyers and the Ben Kinney team is the number one home sales team in Washington state. From that point, Listing alerts and market reports. We've got a lead. We're retargeting the heck out of them. We want to get listing alerts and market reports in place. Listing alerts so they're seeing new listings every single day. Market reports so they're being kept up to date on what's selling and what's going pending in that area that they're looking. We're going to put these people on auto plans. So we give you guys, if you're a Brevity client, so some of you guys on this call right now are Brevity clients, some of you aren't. If you became a Brevity client, we give you every auto plan that the Ben Kinney team uses or has ever used. The primary one is called our 10 days of pain and it's a really aggressive conversion. It lasts for the first 14 days that a lead comes in. We've got another plan after that that we roll people off to. That's the six month long conversion plan that's got tasks for the agents, texts to go out to the consumer and emails to go out to the consumer. We've got versions of these plans for Zillow and Realtor.com and Dave Ramsey and Facebook leads. And our team will help you get these set up so that when you've got these Brivity Connect leads coming in, right? Auto plans are getting applied automatically. Leads are starting to get talked to while you're having dinner with your wife, right? Or your husband or your partner. Listing alerts and, and market reports are going out. Molly, here's what I would say. If you want like some softer, take what we have and just dial it back, right? Take the Ben Kinney team 10 days of pain and be like, you know what? I want to make this softer. Let me eliminate half of these outreaches. Just go in there and take what we have and dial it back to something that's more comfortable for you. If you've got an ISA who's going to be calling every day in addition to that, so you don't want to be texting and emailing every day. Plus, yeah, awesome. Good job. We've got all these kind of events. We show them on your dashboard. So every time somebody returns on a remarketing or retargeting campaign, we're going to showcase to you where that came from. Right? So you'd be able to go in there and be like, oh, look, this person keeps coming back to my website, hitting um, 
my ad campaigns from, from, you know, Fox news. Like I'm going to talk to them a certain way. And, and this person keeps coming back from Cabela's. Like when I call them, I'm going to talk about hunting or right. There's, we get all this, this extra insight from what we can learn about even simple things. Like where are they coming back to us from? I, this is an example of one lead and this is a little bit older lead from this uh, November of 2020. Well, one thing I want to show you about this lead, the lead originally came in registered on this $390,000 property in Cedar Wooley. At 9.18 in the morning. At 1.56, we drove this person back. So the lead registered, we started showing them, when we get one property, we'll make this kind of broader, like we, we don't make assumptions, just show them Cedar Wooley 390. We started showing this person like Whatcom County and in, in, a, in a little bit wider price range. And the next time we got them to come back, it was on this Blaine property, right at 156. And then like 10 minutes later, they came back again on two other properties in Acme and Ferndale. By the time the agent got to this lead, they had four different properties this person looked at. Two of those properties they looked at two times. They had a lot better information to go in and have a call with this person, right? Because this person's looking all over Whatcom County. It's a really large area. Right, and they put bogus info like the name at example.com. But I bet we, we, I know we had a, an email and a phone number for this person. If that phone number would have been out of the area, I would have been making some assumptions here that this person's thinking about living somewhere up in Whatcom County and they don't really care where. But going into that conversation, like I just know a whole lot more than I know about most leads. I can guide that conversation so much better. So it creates warmer calls because. It's not just the first time they saw you. They'll remember you, right? It's the fifth time they've been driven back to your website, right? They've seen your ads everywhere. They're getting emails from you. They're getting texts and, and, and calls. Like these create easier conversions. I mentioned the, the auto plans. So let's get into, we we're kind of coming out of Brivity Connect. Let's get into some of the other things Brivity does here in the next 10 minutes. Then I'll give you guys some time to ask questions. We got auto plans, right? We're going to give you auto plans. We've got them for open houses and just literally anything. What, what we're trying to do is make it so that as you have things coming into your database, it reads where that thing came from and then it can trigger auto plans automatically so that communication starts happening with your leads based on what type of, it's a seller lead from Zillow. Awesome. They get this plan and it, and it says this. It's a buyer lead from my website. Sweet. They get this plan and it says this. Now you don't have to create these plans from scratch, okay? We give you all of the plans that Ben's teams use, okay? And then you can also share plans amongst the other, you know, 3,000 or 3,400, however many Brivity clients there are. Every day inside of our masterminds group, somebody's in there saying stuff like, hey, does anybody have a, you know, a nurture plan for, for a buyer that's gonna buy in a year, right? Does anybody have a follow-up plan for past clients? Does anybody have, and we can easily, in one click, you can share these plans amongst yourselves. And we share them with, like, literally anything Ben's team does, we'll give it to you. Open house plans, Zillow plans, old lead plan. We have a bunch of old lead re-engage. I know a bunch of you guys have old leads that you generated four years ago that you stopped following up with. We've got a way to re-engage those people. Listing alerts, I talked about this. We've been sending listing alerts for 20 years. These things are still effective. People still get their email and go, oh, look at that property and, and come back to our website, which then we can start to retarget and remarket. Like even if you started to do Brivity Connect, though all those old leads on your database, if we can just get them back one time to the website, we can now say, oh, look, he looked in Bellingham at 200,000. Let's give him Bellingham 200,000. We'll just follow him around the internet with that. Market reports, these are, these are really effect, most effective on buyers. I'm sorry, on sellers. Not most, of, we built them to, to, to nurture sellers, shows them what's, what's happening in their neighborhood, right? We can do them in their neighborhood, city, zip code. We can draw on a map the area we want to do the market report for. We could do it on a radius around their house. We can set these up in bulk. You can go today, you could go set up a thousand contacts that you have in your database where you know their address. We could start sending them market information from you. Here's what happens. If you don't send them this data, guess where they go to get it? Chance, where do they go? 
if, if they see their neighbor's house sell, if somebody in your database drives home today, Chance, they pull into their neighborhood and they're, yeah, it's exactly where they go, Chance. They go to Zillow. They, they drive into the neighborhood and they see a house just sold. It's got the big sold sign on it, Chance. Some of them don't even get home. They pull this thing out. And we've all, you guys all have this within arm's reach. I guarantee it, your phone. They just pull over to the side of the road. They pull it out. They're like, pull up Zillow. Oh, look at that. 525. They have to be able to come to you, Chance. Chance has to be the source of, of real estate knowledge in their world. We use these on buyer leads too. This is a really effective strategy for getting your buyers to see what's happening in that area that they want to buy into. Because if you're sending them a market report that shows that anytime a house sells in this area, they're trying to buy, it sells for app list or sometimes 5, 10, 15% over the list price. That's a buyer that you can position and make sure they understand what's happening where they'd like to live, right? We can't come in with a bunch of lowball offers in this particular market, right? You're seeing the data every week, just like I'm, sh I'm telling you. The Brivity Dialer, so we have, we have one gal in Bellingham, Washington that makes about 450 calls into her database every week. That is a really aggressive approach. She's built an amazing business. She's got 12 pendings right now. She's gonna do about 60 transactions this year. Um, Katie Sentinel, she's like a superstar in our world. She's a meme in our office because she's basically can be found between nine and noon in the corner on the dialer. She uses the Brivity Dialer at a really high level. And one of the reasons she does that is because we, we, we did a little study in our Bellingham office and we took people making manual calls in the database, right? I pull a lead up, I dial it on my phone, I call them. Maybe I answer, maybe they answer, maybe I leave a message. But when I hang up, we would start timing people right when they'd hang a call up to see how long did it take them to find the next lead and dial that next lead. And what we found is on average, over a 30 call session, it took them about 20 seconds per transition call. Interestingly enough, the longer they sat in the session, the more time between each call. It's like as the session got longer, it took them longer and longer to transition from call to call. They got tired. In the beginning, they knew we were timing them, so they were trying to do it fast. And over time, they just kind of got into their regular motion. By the end, they were making almost 30 second transitions from call to call which doesn't seem like that big of a deal, except when you realize Katie makes 450 calls every, every week, she saves about a minute every three calls using the dialer, which means she saved 150 minutes this last week using a dialer. 150 minutes, you guys. That's two and a half hours Katie Sentinella is saving that she could reinvest back into the business, make two hours worth more phone calls. She could go spend a little bit extra time with her kids, right? She could love on her past clients a little bit more, but because she uses our dialer, she gets in more calls in less time than everybody else who manually is out there dialing. Yeah, chance, I love that. Kevin from the office, many small time makes much big time. That's right. And we don't think about this 20 seconds or 30 seconds every time we're in the database transitioning to the next phone call. But it just, you think about what Katie would save in a year, you guys. In a, in a, she's saving two and a half hours a week. If she worked 50 hours this year, she's saving like, what, 150 hours? Is that the right math? Yeah, 150 hours, 125 hours, 125 hours. 125 hours. That's weeks of just dialing the phone. All right, we can get all your leads into Brevity, doesn't matter where they're coming from. They're coming from Zillow, Realtor.com. We want you to get everything flowing into one place so you can put the same systems and models in, in, in place for your Zillow leads, your Realtor.coms, your Dave Ramsey's, or wherever your leads are coming from. Even they come from your old website, we can get them in here. I show this. Not look, this is just a, a feature of Brevity, right? We've got these virtual tools in there. People can do. They can request virtual showings or you can do virtual open houses. This is cool, but here's why I show this. Last year when March hit and COVID disrupted our business, we run open house. We're heavy on open houses in Bentley. 
So Ben's was, we were shut down. We couldn't do open house anymore. We took our entire development team and we spun up these safety pages and all of this virtual showing and these concepts in a week. Why? Because we have boots on the ground just like you guys do. Like we, we eat our own dog food, we like to say around here. Our teams, Ben's, the Ben Kenny, our, our owner and our founder of Brivity, he has teams that use Brivity. Which means when something kind of major happens in the industry, like COVID shuts down our ability to do open houses, we got to spin on a dime. And we're capable of doing that because we're in this with you guys. We're not like owned by a title company like some of the, the places. We're not owned by a hedge fund like some of these different platforms, all right? We're boots on the ground with you guys. We're owned by a person that still operates 65 real estate teams around the United States. brivity has got to spin on a dime if it needs to. Now, we're back these days to being able to do real open houses. And so our teams are out there using the open house tool inside of Brivity where we can easily create an open house landing page out of any listing in the MLS. So sometimes we have teams that do open houses for other, other agents in their office. That's fine. We can do open house forms out of their listings too. What this allows us to do is go out there and make sure everybody that comes through the house, when they get registered, they immediately go into the database they get set up with a listing alert immediately, similar to properties of the house they visited us at. We can get an auto plan in place so that two hours later, they get a message from us thanking them for coming through the open house, asking them if they had any questions after having some time to think about it. And we've got a whole auto plan built out that starts talking to them two hours after they register. This is a highly effective tool. We're using it every single weekend and some of our agents are doing open houses during the week. Got some really strong seller capture opportunities inside of your, your website. And you can build as many of these seller landing pages as you want. So we're going to build one like in Ben's Bellingham business. We've got one for Bellingham. And it says, what's your Bellingham home worth? And it's got a picture of the Bellingham Bay so that somebody who lands there who lives in Bellingham feels like, ooh, this, this website or this person, they know me. They know my area. This says Bellingham. It's not just general. We've got one for Ferndale and Blaine and Linden, different ones for each of those cities. Right, so that we're running marketing campaigns into Linden or into Blaine or into Ferndale, we can have a landing experience for those consumers that feels like their area. Right, Blaine's going to have a, a picture of the Peace Arch, which is the, the kind of iconic border crossing symbol there because Blaine's the border town. Right, in Linden, they're going to, I guess, have pictures of cows. I don't know, Linden's a dairy town, right? A bunch of dairy farmers out there. But we're going to build these landing pages to match the audience that we want to capture. Quickly is one of my favorite things. It's text-based lead capture, and you're going to replace all of your signs. I'm sorry, all of your flyers with a quickly call to action. Want to see the price and get all the photos of this listing? Text Ben Kinney to 59559. Text Chance to 59559. Text Brian Mason to 59559. They're going to get the info about the property, Brian, because we're connected into your MLS, and we can feed up information to them via text, and you're going to get their cell phone number. I can remember on my website the first time Bill Gates registered on my website. Molly, I was so excited. Bettina, I ran down to my partner's office. I'm like, hey, dude, Bill Gates is registered on our website. This was in 2003, I think. Four, 2004. I'm high-fiving everybody on the way. I'm like, guys, Bill Gates. We, we sold real estate in Bellevue, Washington. I could throw a rock to Redmond's Microsoft office from our, our real estate office. I was convinced Bill Gates had signed up. No, I went into my partner. He'd been doing real estate marketing for a few years before that. He's like, you idiot. He's like, that's not Bill Gates. That's a fake email. He's like, look, let's pull it up. See, it's a fake email. Like, don't be a fool. I'm like, well, I didn't know. I just thought, you know, over the years, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, F you, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, they all sign up on your website, right? Quickly, we never once had a fake lead. Every single quickly lead is, is the phone number of the person that originated that inquiry. Do you do any kind of events? We have a ridiculously awesome strategy for how to use quickly at events to generate leads for your database. Okay, you, you don't sit at your computer all day long. You need to have your database on the go. So we've got Brivity Go, allows you to take your database on the go in your pocket. Got a message center that's, if you run a team, one of the best ways you can, you can train and coach your team is by being able to see how they text message back and forth with your leads. 
I'll give you an example. If a lead comes in and says, I'm just looking, which is a very common response when a lead gets generated in our world. They're 15 months away from buying something. They're just looking. The most common response agents will give to that is, okay, let me know if you need anything. That's not how we train our agents. If somebody tells one of our agents they're just looking, we're going to say, that's awesome. We're so glad you've had our website to start looking. I realize you're early in your, in your process, but tell me, do you currently own a home here in the area? Because here's the deal. I know if my agent gets on the phone with somebody and they say, I'm just looking, if the text response they give them is, okay, let me know if you need anything, I know when they're on the phone with that person, that's what they're going to say. So I can coach and train them up by watching their, their message center, watching how they text message back and forth with people to catch them when they're saying the wrong thing, to catch them and allow them to ask better questions. We've got a, a, a CMA tool built into Brevity. So when you're sending that, that selling prospect, their market report, we're retargeting them with your ad campaigns. And eventually they go, hey, Chance, what do you think we can get for our house? I noticed the Johnson's down the street sold for 580. Chance can say, you know what? I'm not sure. Let me run a CMA and, and I'll be out tomorrow to bring that to you guys. And, and we can talk about what, what we think we can sell yours for. We've got this whole transaction management side of Brivity, the genesis of Brivity in the very beginning, we built it to manage Ben's exploding transactions. We have one lady in Bellingham that this year will manage, one lady that'll manage about 500 listings and another lady that'll manage about 800 transactions. Now they have VAs that come in and out of their world to help them do this, but they are managing transactions at the highest level in the industry on the back of Brivity. And they've automated a whole lot of the transaction process. Super powerful. We make sure that all the communication is going back to our clients, letting them know everything that we're doing to get their house sold or to move them through pending into the closing phase. Got a thing called Brivity Marketer that does automated postcard marketing. So whenever you have a just listed or a just sold, we can automatically build campaigns. And in the click of a button, you can send those campaigns out to however many, let's say it's 200, you pick how many it is, but we go out and use an algorithm to figure out around your listing, what's the best 200 houses to send that postcard to. And then we build in calls to action that uniquely track back to the particular address, who it is that's going to investigate that that property from the postcard you sent them and we'll actually manufacture a lead for you based on who it was or what address that person was sitting at that went out and looked at that postcard. It's really cool stuff. We've got this design functionality called Brivity Designer that's just, it's very Canva-like, allows you to kind of, you know, templatize and, and save a lot of the designs that you guys do over and over in your business. Like when you have an open house or you're marketing a listing online or or you, you celebrate a new team member joining the team or whatever that might be. Brivity has virtual assistants that you guys can leverage that come fully trained in Brivity so that you are bringing somebody onto your team that understands the systems that you guys run. We've got forward coaching and training and help. If you're not a Brivity client, the platform goes from, um, you know, very affordable to, to, to less affordable as your team is larger and you've got more, more people in here using it and you're using more of the, the functionalities and the features. If you're interested in Brivity today and you're not a Brivity client, text PLATFORM to 59559. I think I'm gonna, um, if you're a, currently a Brivity client, okay, and you are, are um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna type this in here for just a second. Oh, that actually, no, let's do this one. If you are, if you're currently a Brivity client or you're not, but you're really interested in that, in Brivity Connect, this full end-to-end -end digital marketing product that we offer, I want you to pull your cell phone out right now and text BC15 to 59559. If you do that, what happens, we'll send you back a link to a calendar and you can jump on there and, and book a time that works for you to talk to Allie or Grant about Brivity Connect. If, if you're not a Brivity client, you can text platform and that'll get you a, a calendar link where you could go in there and, and book a time to talk to one of our, our salespeople about the full Brivity platform.
let me just come in here as you guys have been hanging out. What's the price difference between accelerate and expand? Ryan, I think it's like 250 bucks a month. It might even be a little bit less. I think it goes from 555 to like 750, something like that. And the next jump up is to like a thousand to the mega level. Um, so Ryan, if you're currently a, an accelerate user and you're, you're on the verge of bringing on a couple more agents and you need to expand things, reach out. To, I think it's even, you know, it's like goes from 550 to, to 750, something like that. Um, Brian says, can data in Mojo be imported into Brevity? So yes. Um, ben has this concept, Brian Mason, that uh, the database is not for lists, right? Leads go into the database, not lists. So we have a connection. Our, many of our, in fact, I think all of our teams use Mojo for their prospecting dials, right? Not, pro, not, not dialing into the a, a database we know, dialing a bunch of people we don't know. We set up a Zapier connection, Brian, so that every time we get a, a warm prospect out on Zapier, we can add them to a particular group in, in Mojo and that will automatically fire that lead over into Brivity. So we fire our, our warm, our, our prospects, our nurtures into Brivity from Mojo. But if you want to just take a list out of Mojo, if you could download that list, you could upload that list over into Brivity as well. Um, but, but we do it through a, a Zapier connection when we have a real, you know, a nurture or a prospect. All right, you guys have an awesome week. Um, I'm Bob at benkinney.com. If, if any of you Brivity folks have questions or anything, um, Anna, do me a favor, email me at bob at benkinney.com and, I'll, and I'll, I'll send you back this PDF that's got some of our scripts on it. Um, you guys have an awesome week. Appreciate all of you taking the time with me today and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Ooh, you did. Anna, do it one more time for me um, and I'll, I'll, I'll get it to you today. Apologies if I missed you last time. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.